Hello everyone! Today we are playing Lost in Random. In this video we will be playing through several segments of the game, progressing here and there. So sit back, relax, and enjoy part one of this playthrough of Lost in Random. Our story begins later in Wongroft, a small village populated entirely by people who have never once been dealt a fair hand. Attention, Warners! I am the Queen, and my dark dice will decide your fate. Random rules! See that, Bernard? You're a sixer. Oh, wow! I'm gonna live in the Queen's Dream Palace for the rest of my- <laughs> Nuh-uh, you're a dirty three, doomed to a life of fighting and misery. That's cheating. Or well, so is having an almighty dice, snake eye. <coughs> Stop, you guys. Wrap this up. We should really get going. It's just a game, sis. Even I promised Mom and Dad to get you home. The Queen! It's the Queen! <laughs> hey, was that really necessary? Come on, hurry up! Now we really have to run! Odd, wait! Stay behind me, sis. We've got to run home and hide. Now! Hey, if you enjoy what you're watching, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to LMTV. That way you can stay updated when all the newest videos come out. That's Nanny Fortuna. Works for the Queen, kidnapping children for her. Kidnapping? And so the Queen decreed that any child who had reached the age of 12 would be given the grand honor of rolling her one true dice, which would reveal to them their place in the world of hey random. Guys, check out this secret portal. Bring we all of the children. Uh, it's uh, an old crawl's face. It works for us. Nice work, Bernie. Let's go. For the queen's wisdom is as wide as her power, which is infinite. Which makes it very easy for all of you to do what she said. Since she is and ever shall be correct. And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children move to their knees, ensure that you are feeling the correct emotion, which is joy. Joy. That the Queen's plan for us is so grand, joy, that her one true dies has deigned to fix the fate of your offspring. And joy, yes, joy, that today her representative. Even odd. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. We can get down. Happy birthday. Oh, even. And I got a present for you. It's so cute. Make a wish. <sighs> 
And the queen said, every child of 12 years shall throw this supreme dice, and so it was. For random is fair, random prevails, and random rules. Random rules. Be grateful, child, that the queen herself is here for your special day. Now, row the dice, and let's see what kind of person you truly are. <gasps> no. <gasps> it had been settled. <laughs> At least, she'll be a sixer. Stop it. No, even and so, Fod's destiny came to be living by the side of the Queen, up in the Sixer's palace, where, it was said, all dreams came true. But Even's nightmare was just beginning. I'm coming for you, sis. Hold on, Odd. Odd! I'm, I'm gonna find you, okay? More than a year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, Even had never dreamed like that before. Even knew she was now awake, and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life, but something seemed off. Something seemed different. Or was it simply that she had changed a portrait of Uncle Jinx? It was said he'd sailed the seven seas and then drowned in the eighth. A painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play every single musical instrument in Wancroft, which was impressive, but none of them well, which was markedly less impressive. An image of great-great-great-grandmother Waters, 
She was the woman who'd invented sliced bread, which made everyone very excited. Well, before then, they'd just taken great big bites out of loaves. An image of great-great-grandfather Peter's, 200 years ago. He ate all his clothing to win a bet. Even supposed that was the reason this portrait stopped at the neckline. Even's mother had always painted, and she'd share with Even the stories she'd hidden in her paintings. Wonderful tales of daring heroines and dashing adventure. She told her never to share these stories with the outside world. These stories might upset the queen, and she had eyes and ears everywhere. These paintings showed stories Even's mother told her were safe to share, because they were true. Well, so she said, like the story of the cardmakers of Five Town, who'd suffered a horrible fate. The scariest painting Even's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man, a mysterious figure who'd gobble up children who ventured too far from home. Even was too old to believe in such stories, or at least that's what she told herself. stuffed animal she'd given odd on the night she was taken even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing but she had to go she had to know distance from even. When she got closer, it moved further away. It was leading her somewhere. Oof. Easy there, even. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Oh, darling, you're thinking about your sister, aren't you? I feel you, child. I do. But she's been gone now a year. Ah, that spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right, I'll get out of your way. But don't tell your parents you saw me, deal? You're quite welcome, young Miss Even. And stay away from the outskirts. was Wancroft, the world in which Even and her small family lived. Like all Wanners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor 
was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her, and that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except even. Come on, Burn, just hit it. It's right. What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents letting you out after dark now? Aw, that's so great. I know after Autumn had to leave, they've been more protective of you, and it's just so great to have you here to play, even. At least you're new. These two idiots are getting on my nerves. Hey, Lucky, that's mean! Aw, shucks. I know I'm not the smartest, but I try real hard. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Wow. Sensitive much? You guys are so touchy. We're playing. She was talking to me. I think she was talking to all of us. Even we're playing. We're playing hit the pot with the potato. Or rather, I'm playing. These two bloobs are just losing at it. I couldn't sleep. My 12th birthday is coming up. Mine too. Gonna get to roll the dice when it comes. I'm gonna be a sixer. I know it. I'll be saying bye to all you bloobs and hi to the riches of Sixtopia. I'm not a bloob. I'm a star. My mom says so. I'm not a bloob either. Uh, what's a bloob? You getting a load of these bloobs even? Well, that's just her bad luck. Not the sort of thing I've ever had to worry about. Really? How come? Because my name is Lucky, and... He meant how come even thinks it didn't work out, Lucky? <laughs> yeah, right. Like a sixer would ever care about a one -up. Please. It could happen. You don't know. I think it sounds mysterious. I love mysteries. Have fun with your cool mystery, even. See you later. Whoa! Not bad, even. I knew you could do it. Lucky shot. I'm not impressed. I could do that too if I wanted. No problem. That was amazing, even. Hey, shut up! <laughs> She knew this was, if not goodbye, then at least so long. And even knew if she hesitated, if she woke her parents and spoke to them directly, she'd never go. And so she left, without knocking.
seem like you're looking for something, kid. <laughs> I recognized you. Your odd sister, right? Did the big roll a year ago, if I recall. She's in the Queen's care now, kiddo. There's nothing any of us can do. And I think you should give up on her, even. She's a sixer now. Nobody ever comes back from that. You saw it, didn't you? There it was again. Oh, come on! Well, whatever that spirit wanted, it seemed to involve bringing even here. But why? Random rules, even. Random rules. Well. Well, well, well. Look at you. So far from home, and all alone. You're lucky the Queen is looking out for you, child. You've heard the good news, haven't you? The Queen is a force of nature, like gravity or death. You can't argue with gravity. You don't debate death. You just go along with her. Because you know a rule is law. She is eternal. <laughs> She's never wrong. She makes the rules, random rules, and they're always right. It's incredible to live at the same time as such a wondrous being. I hope one day she notices me, up riding a shining spider stallion, notices my love for her, notices my worship. More than life, I just want to be her, to be with her, I mean, to feel her hand on my head and Oh, she judged me and found me good. It would completely destroy me. I'd love every minute of it. 
One town was unique. Some who lived here were kind, treating the queen with respect, and others seemed to have been broken by her in one way or another. But it was home, the only Big home even London. had ever known. It must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So. That strange figure even knew that her fate was changing. That her future was suddenly filled with unknowns. And she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time.
Stephen could barely make out what the ghostly figure was. It was beautiful, inscrutable, and there seemed to be a sorrow to her. There was no time to think. Even was either going home to her parents without answers and with even more questions than before, or she was getting on that boat. She felt a pull, beckoning towards something new. Some nice cards you have there, kiddo. You find them yourself. Well, heck, let me take a look. <laughs> maybe, maybe these old papers will notice something you haven't. Well, look at these. Oh, these used to be everywhere, you know that? Oh, folks did trade them on the regular. Used to have quite a collection myself. I got, I got them straight from the factories in five tropolis where they made them, you know. Mint in books. Of course, that was before the war. A lot changed that night. We're still dealing with the consequences. Yeah, look around you, Missy. This ain't what things used to be. This ain't what things are supposed to be, either. The Queen, she distorted it all. Turned us from good, honest folks into... Uh, into whatever this is now. Only most don't remember it. Only me, it feels like sometimes.
Hey, if you enjoy what you're watching, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to LMTV. That way you can stay updated when all the newest videos come out.
You don't get to come here. This is my reserve spot. You get your own. think I'm doing here? We're all trying to hide, kid. Now leave. This is Herman's hidey hole. My little stowaway chamber. My realm of adlubescence that you're not invited in. It's my ticket out of this muddy town. It means something that's delightful. Like my room here. I... I... Wow. Really are just a kid, huh? Well, well, guess what? I myself was a kid once. Kid Herman. And now I'm adult Herman, and I'm getting out of here. Now go find your own spot. There are no... Oh, come on! There's got to be other spots. Go find them. Oh, for the love of... Fine, fine, you little... little guilt tripper. I'll let you in. Oh, but before I do, we got ourselves some house rules. One, be quiet. Two, don't touch anything. And three, be quiet and don't touch anything. You regret this, kid. I'm stowing away on a quest, see? And if the crew here gets wind of it, both our gooses will be cooked. So just sit here all quiet like and don't do anything. Shh, sh quiet, kid. I can't believe it. You're already breaking rules one and three. Yeah, look, I'll tell you what, just hide between those boxes and don't make any noise. You want to know about me? Here's a deal. I'm off to find me son, see? I'm headed for the cardmaker district, uh, five tropolis, or whatever the queen's calling it these days. And... Quiet, kid, or you'll ruin the whole thing! Just... Just, just go to sleep, kid. I'll wake you when we're there. Well, the moment she'd let herself think about it, even realized she was actually exhausted. Tonight alone, she'd seen a ghost run away from home and boarded a ship traveling somewhere deep into the unknown heart of Random. Would she ever return? It didn't matter. Art was the only thing that mattered. With her sister's name on her lips, even fell into a deep slumber.
override demon. Soon you will find your voice. Hello, even. You're home. It's where you belong. There's no time. No time? No time. A wanna is a wanna. Is a wanna is a wanna. When you're right, you're right. Even. Come stay with us. Do you want some tea? Why do you need to see her? We've seen her before. Listen to your mother, even. It's a dangerous world out there. Listen to your mother, even. Stay here. It's safe here. We'll never leave you again. Not ever. Not ever, even. We'll always be here, even. You'll always be her, even. Her desires are odd. It's the only way she'll learn. Go. Even if you're lost. The Queen will find you. They never... I, I don't think they... They were denying you your future. Robbing you of your true destiny. You're finally home. Wake up! Wake up, girl! Oh, no, 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 no! This whole time ship's falling apart, Tatum. Today's a difficult day for you, Herman. Wait! What am I supposed to do? Take one of these bad even lost sight of Herman. She realized she'd also lost sight of her last connection to home. Okay, still alive. I can work with that. As long as I don't land on water, I should be able to work with that. Uh, find time to remember I don't know how to swim. She hoped desperately that she'd land somewhere near Six Town, but the wind and the fates had very different plans for her, indeed. Ah! Whoa, where is this place? She couldn't yet understand it, but even had landed in the middle of something exceptional. These were the ruins of a time long past, 
and the magic she could almost sense in the air wasn't about to give up its secrets that easily. to come here in decades. Um, I... are you okay? Are you... uh... Okay, uh, well, thanks for saving me back there. You were really, oh, well, <sighs> heroic. Right, <laughs> okay, talking to a dice. I better get going. You should too. This place is really dangerous. <laughs> Oh, um, I mean, I guess you can tag along. Uh, the more the merrier, right? Okay, Ivan, keep it together. You're talking to a dice now, Ivan. And to yourself. There! 
Nice! Not a trap. <laughs> You don't just take things from people. Ugh, fine. You could hold on to them, I guess. Just don't digest them. Watch out, guys. These machines are coming alive, too. Yep. They're attacking. It was clear that these were no ordinary cards, and Dicey was no ordinary dice. Something extraordinary was awakening. Even in Dicey, we're moving as one. An unstoppable fighting machine. Even didn't understand what was happening to her and her new dice friend. But she didn't need to, for there was another, more obvious truth that she understood completely. Whoa, she was truly and inarguably kicking robot butt! Listen, we're an incredible team, and as long as I'm going to be talking to you, I should probably know your name. Uh huh, right. Well, how about if I just call you Dicey? Perfect. Well, let's see if we can find a way out of this place, Dicey.
to the entities that slumbered in this long-forgotten world even had just become interesting. And that was seldom good. dice became more and more inseparable. Dicey were moving as one, an unstoppable fighting machine. surviving, yeah? It's like something out of Mum's drawings. Yeah. 
Hey, if you enjoy what you're watching, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to LMTV. That way you can stay updated when all the newest videos come out. I'm choosing to take that as a yes.
I were indeed colossal. Things were looking grim. And while I know it's always disappointing when you, what you thought was a novel turns out to be a very short story, all I can do is apologize.
No, 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 no. That's not what happened. Let's try this again. These colossi were indeed colossal. Things were looking grim. Something. Even and Dicey finally had a moment to catch their breath. Take a breather and... Dicey! Wait! Ah... Uh... Dicey! What's happening here?
I've always been here. Look at the dirty trash, Cyclops. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut What is going on here? The other kids, they... they said I was a... filthy one -off. She is! She's not a sixer, like us. Oh, ho, ho. the dice doesn't lie, children. Y yeah, but, but she was just lucky. She's a one -off. You can smell it on her. Oh, you think? You're smarter than the black dice! Um, uh, I mean, no, I, I just... Oh, so now you're saying she is a sixer after all. So you lied to me either way. Um, uh, I mean... Lying should be punished, Odd. Don't you agree? You don't have to. I was just... Now, now, there's no room for pity. Either everything's fair, or nothing is! Hey, if you enjoyed what you're watching, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to LMTV. That way you can stay updated when all the newest videos come out. Ugh, a water! Off to the garbage for you! I'm not garbage. Well, agree to disagree, love. Uh. What's this? A lunchbox? Ha! <laughs> ah, a living lunchbox! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Monster! I'm gonna tell the mayor! <laughs> Well, we're here. Let's see where here is, Dicey. Okay, everybody, that's going to be it for today's video. Tune in next time for part two of our playthrough of Lost in Random. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to LMTV.